Okay, I want to set some things straight about what happened at Greenfield and why I left. First of all, I was not ran off by anyone or anything. I started the apprenticeship with the electricians union and it's going to be an amazing career and I'll be making way more than I ever would have at that factory. Now, some of you may, heard, may have heard one side of a story that of an incident that happened a few weeks before I left involving Dylan. What really happened is, and this is my side of the story, which is actually the truth, Dylan had screwed up an order, uh, relabeling some drums several times, and basically the carrier had come to pick up the order and it still wasn't ready, it needed to be relabeled again, so Dylan had to take care of that while the carrier waited. Originally I told him, Dylan that it wasn't going to go, the shipment wasn't going to go because the carrier could not wait. Then I decided to ask the carrier and he said he could wait for a little while. Um, Dylan proceeds to come over to the shipping dock and tell me, not ask, but tell me that I needed to go downstairs and get the other drums, switch them out, and ship this order. Well, I proceeded to explain to him in a calm voice why that was not going to be able to, be, to happen because, you know, you have to pick the drums, you have to take the C of A up, you have to uh, wait for the C of A to be done. Several steps. Explained it all to him. Still wanted to argue with me about it. So I continued to try to explain to him, you know, I'm doing what I can process of loading this guy with the order that was done. I was on a forklift. Dylan's standing there arguing with me. We get heated going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Finally, I had enough and I said, his dad, Jeff, is standing there beside us. And I said, looked at Jeff and pointed at Jeff. I said, why aren't you yelling at your dad to do this? He can go down and do this. I'm not the only one that works in shipping. I'm in the process of loading a truck load. Why is it just up to me? Your dad's standing there not doing anything. At that point, Dylan lost his shit. I lost my shit. And we started screaming back and forth at each other and cussing each other. If not for him being rude and telling me what to do in the first place, this never would have escalated to this point. Now, a little backstory. The tension between me and Dylan comes from his father, Jeff. Jeff was hired. Jeff's a 52, 53 year old man who had shipping experience and is set in his ways and will not take direction. And will not do anything we asked him or told him to do. He has demonstrated this from day one. Even after six months of doing his job, he still did not correctly do his job. Here's an example. Jeff called in one day, so I went over to his side, which is the cases, and I worked his side, pulled all the orders, scanned them all, printed the bills, filled them out, and was back over to help Corey with the truckloads in an hour, from 7 o'clock, from 7.20 to 8.20, we timed it. We weren't sure if Jeff was going to call in the next day, so we, so I went ahead and stayed after that day and pulled all of the things that all the orders that Jeff would need for the next day. Jeff came in the next day with all the orders pulled already. It took him three hours to work those bills. It wasn't an extraordinary amount of bills. It was about the same as what I had done in an hour. The whole process. Jeff comes in at 7. He takes his full hour lunch and he leaves every day at 3.30 sometimes walking up patting me on the back or Corey and saying, see you tomorrow, even as people are there to be loaded and things are there to be done. He doesn't care. He's there to do as little as possible in the eight hours he's there and leave. Ask Corey, ask Dwight, 
Dale Tech. Now, because I've lost my shit with Jeff before and cursed at him and told him that he didn't listen for shit and that he uh, didn't, didn't take direction worth of shit, that there was, a, there was tension between me and Dylan because of that. That is the reason why Dylan came over and proceeded to tell me how to do my job because he had a problem with me in the first place. Now, the day that all this happened, Jeff was standing there, Dylan was obviously standing there, David Estrada had just pulled around the corner and seen part of it. Corey and William Brown were standing off around the corner and walked up after we started screaming at each other. Now, when Dylan had screamed at me and I screamed at him, he got upset and he started to walk away as he's screaming at me. Okay? And I, at that point, I had turned the forklift to where he was now behind me. So, in order to see him and yell at him more efficiently, I jumped off the forklift. Now, if you ask anybody that works there, they'll tell you I jump off the forklift like my ass is on fire because that's, that's the pace we had to keep up with to get the job done. According to William Brown, I jumped off the forklift and stepped at Dylan aggressively. Now, mind you, Dylan is probably almost 100 feet away from me. However far it is from the edge of the docks to the guardrail in front of the, sh the, uh, the handrail in front of the shipping office. Dylan was there and I was all the way over there. I jumped off, did not walk towards him, but took a step and stopped. And that was perceived as a threatening motion, aggressive behavior towards Dylan. William Brown's side of the story was, because he wrote up the paper that they tried to fire me with, that according to him, which he only saw half of what happened, that Dylan had come over and asked me to do these things. I had cussed at him and his father no mention of Dylan cussing back at me or starting the whole cussing thing in the first place. And that I had taken an aggressive step towards Dylan. And therefore, because of violation of policy, I should have been fired, fired immediately. Now, anybody that knows me knows that I have a temper sometimes, but I've never, ever had a problem with anyone there in the four years that I worked there except for Jeff, who is a worthless piece of shit, and Dylan, who is a little punk motherfucker. Now, if Dylan wants to do anything about this video or say anything to me, I'm in Shelbyville all the fucking time. My daughters live there. We can set up a time and place and we can talk if you want to. 